Hello, teachers and students of Konya School. We meet again. I'm Chin Yang from Panana School in Singapore. Today, we're going to talk about a very interesting topic, which is concept mapping. Let's get started. I'm going to put this down here. Now, you may have heard about concept mapping, which actually is the non-linear expression of information. Let's write it down. When we talk about linear or non-linear, we are comparing between linear, which is conventional sentences from left to right, where there is a lot of filler words to make the sentence meaningful. But when we talk about non-linear, we are essentially writing out the keywords that link to each other. What you have here is basically a non-linear expression of information where you can see that concept mapping is the non-linear expression of information. I just want to point out at this stage that concept mapping in its purest form actually is not like that. It has to be based on knowledge points where you have linking words to link from one point to another. i give an example. So let's say if we have something like that. Concept mapping is the non-linear expression of information. That will be in its purest form. However, when we stick to something so strict, it becomes very difficult for us to 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 you know to to use it in a very useful or functional manner so i would prefer to use it in a more functional sense which essentially is to 